is uh, photos from my most recent uh, most recent uh, uh, trip trip to India which is just recently this year and uh, I particularly focused on two places one place is Varanasi which is the old Benares in which case I, I was really looking at just a few scenes representative of the surroundings of the, the river the ghats and at the same time the one ceremony which is the honoring of the dead and uh, the, 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 the offering to the dead is done by way of placing the condiments that are placed on a leaf, a large leaf, on the river to float away, just as the dead have flo float away and cremated on the same river. Um, it's quite a, uh, you know, a moving ceremony in the sense that the dead are honored and they are revisited through this, this means of family coming to honor them. The only, the only Muslim background photos are from Ahmedabad, where you have a, where you have a, a, a mosque with two, two views, view, a diptych of a mosque, interior of a mosque with two, uh, two uh, corridors. Otherwise, uh, we have uh, we came upon a, a, a river town in the in the south between between Chennai, the old Madras, and Madurai, very famous for its great temple, all the way through the Tamil country in, in the south in which there are various kinds of ceremonies taking place. And the one we, we came upon was um, one which has to do with uh, honoring family, family and, uh, and, uh, and family relations. And it has to do with, uh, with actually this procession that's built up to by the river. We put together many, um, many kind of, uh, kind of uh, headpieces with all kinds of, it starts with the coconut, with all kinds of uh, other kind of game condiments. The, 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 the young people from the town, mostly young people, will carry them over the head and the, the procession is led by two by two figures. One central figure has a huge kind of a floater that is connected to him and stuck into his body with pins. Actually, it's interesting that those pins are right in his flesh and removed later on and leave no marks. It's very extraordinary. But I was very much taken with the way in which some of the, the these uh, participants car carrying those headpieces through the procession, how they seem to be visited by some spirit and they kind of lose control, they lose, uh, they, 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 they are in, as if visited by some spirit and sometimes they get convulsing and so on and they have to be calmed down. So you really feel something very electric and very psychic happening to these, to, to these particular individuals. It's really extraordinary. Um, the, um, the, the, t the town itself is uh, on the river uh, in the south, in Tanjavur, a place called Tanjavur, and it is a, uh, a very beautiful place actually. And there's two old temples there that are very, very beautiful, small temples. And the, the town itself is, uh, is uh, well, I would say it's well over a thousand years old in this area. And some of the temples go back before that, to before that. So this is the kind of thing I want to share with, with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the, the public uh, because I think uh, very, not many people get to these places and I think it's extraordinary to come inside to the lives of these people and bring that out here to us today.